Hi, this is Susanna Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life. And we are on week 24, day 4, <laughs> I had to think about it, of our positive, peaceful affirmations that we are doing every day, Monday through Friday. We are following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, Positive, Peaceful Growth Calendar, that you can buy at, um, at Aroma Tools or Oil Life. And for us, it's like the perfect combining of positive affirmations, of music therapy, of essential oils and aromatherapy. If you love those three elements, you're going to love, love, love the book. So highly recommend buying it. Our, um, the affirmation that we've been working on the whole entire week is, I am proud of managing me. And we've journaled about what we can do to better manage ourselves. And um, I hope that we are having so much good success as we learn to better manage ourselves. I think just, just reminding ourselves that this is what we're working on. We are working on managing ourselves better. It's just um, an amazing, just, the more we think about where we want to go, I think the more we end up. So reminding ourselves that I am proud of me for managing myself. I know I had some success stories. There were a couple um, incidents yesterday where I could have gone down a different road and if I went down that road, I would have not been happy with myself. But I went down a good road and it felt so good. Don't you feel so good when you go down good roads, right? And so um, that's what we're doing. We're, we're up-leveling our game in managing ourselves. The affirmation for today is, I enjoy initiating new positive ideas. Now, yesterday the affirmation was, I can understand both sides, and I'll even say all sides, but I manage me. So I can understand all sides, but I manage me, was yesterday's affirmation. And today, what are we doing? We are initiating the new ideas that we got from our greater understanding that we were working on yesterday. And so, when it comes to um, new ideas, some of us are just chock full of ideas. Like we have, like we could probably rattle off 10 ideas on how to improve things at any given moment. Um, as I'm thinking about that concept, I'm reminded of a song from Disney's Alice in Wonderland. Not going to sing it for you today, but it goes like this. It goes, I give myself very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. That um, explains the trouble I'm always in. Anyway, so if you have good ideas, but you're not putting them into action, um, if you give yourself good advice, but you don't... If, but you haven't followed it in the past, um, then then today is a new day. It's a day to start putting those ideas into action. I love following Fly Lady. I'm not perfect at following her, but I love to follow her. And um, one of the things that she, she kind of has a different thing that she does every day. And if I remember correctly, Thursday is her anti- procrastination day. So doing what you've put off, like those good ideas that you want to get done that you've been putting off, Thursday is a great day to do it. And it just happens to be a Thursday when we are taping this. So um, what good ideas do you want to, to initiate? Do you want to um, put into practice? Today is a good day to put away our procrastination and to exercise our our um, just do it muscles, right? Um, they say, and I love that idea of exercising our just do it muscles, right? Just putting, or maybe we just say exercising our action muscles. That's super good too, right? What they found is people who tend to, um, to get an idea and run with it, um, build up that, that action muscle. And 
So in the future, when they get a good idea, they're going to tend to run with it. And what studies have found is as soon as you have idea, you are the most motivated right then to do it. So as soon as you have a new idea or a new plan of action, don't put it off. Go ahead and, and get started. It, what, our start doesn't have to be perfect. Our start doesn't have to be graceful. Um, but just getting started on our new ideas um, can help um, get them from our, um, our thinking part to our doing part. Okay, um, and it can help make our ideas a reality. So, um, there's that. Again, the affirmation for today is, I enjoy initiating positive ideas. Now, um, as you are initi initiating positive ideas, I'm going to say that you want to get three people in your corner that are going to help you. One is just a friend. Just a friend that you can chat with. And when your idea isn't going exactly as you wanted to, and um, who will be in your corner um, and say, you know what, and just listen to you and just love on you and just tell you how amazing you are, even though your idea isn't going exactly as you want. So that's the first person that you need in your life. You need a friend that you can just tell your ideas to and who will just be super empathetic with you. Okay, the next person that you need in your life is when we're initiating these new ideas is a cheerleader, right? Just someone, rah, rah, you can do it, right? You got this, go for it, do it now. Like that type of person, you need someone who is just gonna cheer you on and be that positivity um, and bring in that positive energy to your ideas. Now the third person that we all need when we're initiating um, different ideas is a coach. Someone who isn't going to be your rah-rah positive person. Someone who's going to say, uh, you did that wrong. Let me tell you how to swing that bat. Um, let's tweak things this way. Let's tweak things that way. Let's see what's really going on. What's, what's the roadblocks? What's the stumbling blocks? Um, what's getting in our way? And, and let me coach you to a better way. And do you see the difference how a coach is totally different from a cheerleader? and totally different from your friend who's just going to listen and be empathetic. We need all three if we're really going to um, get our best um, running start with our new ideas. So um, a journal thing that you might want to do today is journal about what are the new ideas that you want to implement and, and who are the three people that you can have in your corner to chat with as you're going forward with your new ideas. Okay, um, the song for today, well, the song for the entire week, first of all, is a song by Siegfried Idol, but, I'm sorry, is Siegfried Idol by Richard Wagner. It's just a beautiful, classical, contemplative piece. Um, great for when you're meditating or journaling. Great song to put on. Um, but the song that's really resonating with me on this issue of initiating new ideas is the song um, and it's by Johnny Nash and it's I can see clearly now the rain has gone and so remember yesterday we were talking about understanding and getting to, to the root of the causes and the root of that cause and the root of that cause like getting what's what's the main problem that we're really dealing with right um, and and how have our game plans in the past gone wrong and why, right? We're, we're seeing the whole picture. We're being a realist here. And, um, but once we have that understanding, then that optimist comes in and we put the ideas into practice and we can see that it's a new day. So the, again, the affirmation for today is I enjoy initiating new positive ideas. Now, I don't want us to go back and look at ourselves in the past. I want us to remember that each new day, um, as we wake up, it's almost like being born anew. It's a fresh new day, like a fresh new page in a book, and anything that we want to write in that book today, it can be absolutely different from what we wrote yesterday. So, I'm just reminding you, it's a new day. 
And for that reason, I really love I Can See Clearly Now, The Rain Is Gone by Johnny Nash. Okay, the, um, the diffuser blend for the entire week is two drops of coriander. Remember yesterday we talked about, well, yesterday and two days ago, we talked about how relaxing an oil um, emotionally coriander is. Well, um, so two drops of coriander, which is the oil of um, integrity, I think. Anyway, I just need to look that up. So let me just look up really quick. I'm loving this book. Um, yeah, The Oil of Integrity. Anyway, I love this book, Essential Emotions. Essential Emotions, Your Guide to Process, Release, and Live Free. So I get a lot of my um, my info on how to use essential oils emotionally from that book. Um, so anyway, two drops of coriander, which is the oil of integrity, and then two drops of peppermint, which is an oil of the oil of a buoyant heart. A buoyant, what does buoyant mean? It means when you push it down, it doesn't stay down back up right um like those buoys in the water they you can't push them down they, they just pop right back up okay so um today we are talking about the emotional benefits of peppermint essential oil tomorrow we'll be going into the physical benefits of peppermint essential oil so um the first benefit of peppermint essential oil is it when you start diffusing it or if you put a drop of it in your water, um, drink it down. Kayla, can you please give me doTERRA's peppermint oil? Um, it might be just in the first drawer in that desk. Anyway, um, the right drawer though. Anyway, so when you start diffusing it, um, it's like a rush of fresh energy to your system. It allows us to relax instead of letting anxiety, woohoo, okay, cut that one, and um, build up in our body and mind. Um, it is stimulating to the mind. It increases our ability to focus and concentrate. In fact, Dr. Del Barr of the University of Cincinnati showed that it increased mental accuracy by 28% in the students that um, were involved in this study. So it can help wake you up. If you want to diffuse it in the morning, that's a really good thing. You can also just, just smell. Just smell the bottle of peppermint essential oil. Mm, it's gonna instantly wake you up. I like to keep peppermint in the car because you never know when you start to feel a little drowsy and you definitely never want to drive drowsy. So if you're going on a long trip, go ahead and keep your peppermint with you. Um, so you can just smell it. Also, tip on traveling along, my mom always told me that every hour you should get out of the car run around the car three times, maybe do 10 jumping jacks. You know, just get your body moving. It will it'll help give your body a break and um, and help you focus as you're driving. Also keeps you a little bit more relaxed as you're driving. Okay, so um, peppermint can also help stave off cravings and it can help relieve your um, your need for munching. Um, a lot of people get sleepy around three o'clock, so it's great to use not only in the morning, but also for that that kind of afternoon tired zone that some of us seem to get, or, or many of us seem to get. Um, if you're confused or you're muddled about life, peppermint can help. It can help open our understanding, and it can help us see more clearly what's happening around us. I think the reason it's able to do this is because, and we're going to discuss this more later, but peppermint essential oil is such an amazing painkiller. And sometimes, sometimes we don't really want to see what's going on because um, it can cause us a lot of pain. And most humans don't like to do things that cause them pain. So sometimes we avoid looking at what reality actually is. And which is, it's not it's not good. I like it doesn't it's not helpful. Not seeing what reality is isn't really helpful. So peppermint, um, it can help um take away some of the pain and um, to help us see more clearly what's really going on. So um it's a great emotional cleanser. It can 
Um, if you have lingering heavy emotions, if you have unhealthy attachments, or if you have unfounded fears, peppermint essential oil can help clear those out. Um, so remember how we talked about how it kind of brings you kind of instantly alert? So if you're the type of person who never remembers your dreams, because like you wake up and you can remember that you were dreaming something, but then like two, two minutes later, you're like, now what was it? Like, what was I dreaming? So what you might want to do if you want to try to remember your dreams better is it's just kind of small. Keep your, your bottle of peppermint like right there by your bed. When you wake up in the morning, just smell it. it my guess is it will make you more instantly awake and it will help you remember your dreams better. Okay. Um, it can help with those who are suffering with, um, with depression to see the joy in life. It can help lift people from sadness and to help lighten the pressure that sometimes we all feel in life. It can put a cap on unhealthy emotions and give us a short reprieve from them. It's almost like, so peppermint, again, peppermint is such a um, amazingly strong painkiller. Um, so um, if you're going through a lot of emotional pain, it can help just, just give you a vacation from that pain. Now, so I just wanted to talk about that is one way that peppermint can be used, but it can also be over... It can also be abused, but like peppermint is one oil that can be emotionally abused. And that's because it's so good at taking away the emotional pain. They can make it so that, oh, I don't need to deal with that now, right? Oh, I no, don't need to deal with that situation. And even though the situation might be reoccurring. So we don't want to abuse peppermint oil. Um, we want to sometimes, sometimes we do need that vacation from our problems, but um. We, we also want to address them. So I'm just saying don't abuse your peppermint oil. Um, okay, um, just so peppermint, we're gonna talk about this more later, but doTERRA, um, peppermint essential oil can help with digestion in so many different ways. And because we know that essential oils can help emotionally, just like it does um, physically, um, we can, we can intuitive, we can, um, I guess just intuitively know that peppermint essential oil will also help us digest things like like maybe you're moving to a new place got a new school maybe you're in the middle of this majorly hard um, class maybe you're at a conference and you're just being fire hosed with a ton of information peppermint can help us digest that help us mentally digest it help us emotionally digest things that might be going on too and um, so that we can kind of see things clearly and and see where we want to go in the future so um just to let you know peppermint is soothing in small amounts and and very very stimulating in larger amounts so just use a little or a lot depending on the emotional effect that you want to have so if you want to um if you want to feel uplifted or motivated, you can blend it with citrus oils like orange or grapefruit to help help you feel more uplifted and awake and motivated. You can blend it with basil, thyme, and marjoram if you want a more nourishing blend. And you can blend it with cedarwood, cypress, or thyme if you want to feel more inspired. Peppermint is an essential oil that kind of helps make any um, blend just a little bit more powerful. It's just like a power punch kick um, to most diffuser blends. Now, if, again, um, if you're trying to go to sleep, then you're not going to want to add a drop of peppermint into your blend, right? Peppermint um, is an essential oil that you want to use during the daytime because, again, it does make you so alert. But as it gets to after the sun goes down and as you want to get more into that chill, relax, um, sleepy time um, environment. If you want, if you need to use it for um, any of those things, I would suggest using spearmint instead because spearmint is such a relaxing oil where peppermint tends to be more stimulating. Okay, so using peppermint during the day, using spearmint after sundown. Okay, so um, I think, oh, 
one other thing. So, peppermint is very, very good. Remember, it's such a painkiller that it's so good for unbearable times with of unbearable anguish, um, intense despair, when you're feeling heavy-hearted, when you're feeling pessimistic or sad. And the positive properties that it can bring in is feeling buoyant and being optimistic and um, feeling relieved at what's going on and um, having the strength to face emotional pain. So um, we are doing a major rehaul and, and organization in our home right now, which can sometimes be a little stressful to keep the whole family motivated and and in the mood to do this right and so yesterday i was diffusing i started diffusing my um coriander and peppermint do you know what i found for me it was so instantly calming so calming but yet it gives us the energy that to get things done so um if you haven't diffused um two drops of coriander and two drops of peppermint. If you haven't done that diffuser blend yet, I would highly, highly recommend it. I loved it. Okay, so I think that's everything for today. This, i um, reminding you that tomorrow we're talking about the physical benefits of peppermint. And um, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, Living the Wholesome Life, reminding you and me that we have the power in us with God to make it a great day.